Good afternoon, wherever this finds you, or early evening, possibly. My name is Frank Johnson. I'm the academic dean at Tabor College. It's my pleasure to be with you here in this recorded Zoom call for a few moments. I have two colleagues with me. I'll let them introduce themselves. I'm Daniel Krebs, Director of Student Success. And I'm Celeste Worthy, Assistant Director of Student Success at Tabor College. And we're so delighted to be doing this. We wish we could have been on the 1230 call that we still don't fully understand how Zoom blew <laughs> up for us. I didn't want to take a chance with this evening, so I said, I know my Zoom account's working perfectly, so let's just record a brief uh, few comments, uh, introduce ourselves, and then we're going to make uh, a clear pathway for you to have some uh, a, a way to reach out to us. So I'm going to share my screen. Uh, we have a just a little agenda for us today. And you will be getting a copy of this, by the way, uh, while you'll be seeing this link for this video by having received this. So this is what we're going to walk through. A few essentials from the resource guide that you should have received in the mail. I've got the link here. You can see where you can find that. And I wanted to just point out a couple uh, uh, elements for us. I'm going to open that right now. Here's what the page looks like. You can just scroll down and I'll make this a bit larger. And I wanted to go first to page six and seven uh, right here. This is probably one of the most important documents uh, or pieces of information in this document. And here you'll find all manner of elements that are, are for your information. A number of these have been tweaked just a little bit. So if information you received is sounds a little different or you didn't get something after July 15, first of all, apologize for that. But we've had a number of transitions here in the student success and admissions, and that's complicated things for us. But this is where you'll find this important information. A key takeaway from this, and by the way, under number six, the lifestyle covenant, that shouldn't have even been on here. That's going to be your student will do that at the confirmation of registration. So we'll do that. A key thing here, if they're going to have a car, they need to have their 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 license. We have to get their their plate, license plate, and they have to have insurance. And they'll provide paperwork for us on that. On uh, number two, an important word there, the medical form. I know a lot of you have gotten those in already. Thank you so much for that. The second box there. The United Healthcare Portal, there is where you will go to either uh, accept that insurance. It's not our insurance. We just provide something for you, for all uh, U.S. students that live here in the States. Uh, we have a we, we use a broker that, that puts that together for us. Uh, you do not have to use that at all if you have your own insurance or if you would like to go out on the health insurance exchanges and buy your own. But a student has to have that insurance. And, and that's what that would be. And so there's a time frame for that. I believe it's September 15, I could be mistaken, but um, want to get there. If you have, I'm a Blue Cross Blue Shield person, I would just have my card uploaded and there's a way that it says how to do that on that uh, site. I'm gonna pop over to page 12. Here is critical info on what I can bring to the res halls. And some of it just, I know it's got to sound odd, but some of the no's, uh, they're almost always for either safety issues is the number one thing, or uh, Tabor is a decidedly Christian where we take faith really serious. And so we would ask that, you know, there's not uh, posters with, with obscene gestures or sayings or nothing, of course, pornographic. That, that makes a lot of sense. Some of the other is maybe a little more obtuse, Again, it's safety related and it's often related to heat. Uh, so the toasters, you would think, what's how, how dangerous is a toaster? Well, when you get 600 of them, it can get sort of dangerous. And so that's something to bear in mind there. I'm gonna pop back to page five. Actually, I'm, I'll, I scrolled by this while I'm going right by. Here, here's the page uh, 11 important links. Campus Cafe is where a lot of information is found about your student, where uh, they will go to get a lot of information. Canvas is our learning management system. That's all I'll say about that right now. The I attended, uh, that's how they do chapel attendance. All those QR codes should be live. 
Um, lastly, oh, right, on mail services, how to get your student uh, a, a care package or something else. That's pretty important. And so I'm going to get out of this and I'm going to stop sharing for a second. I'm going to yield or give the, the mic as it were to Celeste. And Celeste, let me pull up your documents for you real quick, okay? Thank you, appreciate it. Yep. And you are in charge. Oh boy, that's terrifying. <laughs> well, thank you everybody for joining us. We cannot wait to welcome your students very soon to campus. So what I'm going to speak to in the next few minutes is the question on a lot of people's minds, when can I come to campus and what do I do when I show up? So hopefully we can answer that for you and give you very specific ideas of what to expect in the next few weeks. So specifically this document that Frank is sharing right now, the fall 2022 check-in and move-in is a very kind of detailed, you know, very straightforward, who shows up when. So the very first thing that you'll see there is on Wednesday, August 3rd, this is when the group of everybody who's a soccer player, everybody who's on cross country, everybody who's volleyball, everybody who's in theater, and then all athletic trainers and people helping with athletic training, everybody in those groups will show up on Wednesday, August 3rd. Now with the specific times, that is communicated directly to the students via email to their tabor.edu email address. So make sure that they're checking those, make sure they have access because that's where that information is gonna go. And just to help flow and everybody move in um, in the proper order and so that we can make it maximized for everybody, we wanna make sure that people show up with the times that they're supposed to be there just to make it go smoothly for everybody. So that's what happens on Wednesday, August 3rd. Then we jump to Friday, August 5th, and that's when if your student is in football, you will show up on August 5th. And then again, those specific times on that day will be communicated directly to the, their student email. So make sure that they're checking that. Um, and then we bump to the following week, August 12th, which is again a Friday. This is when all remaining freshman students who haven't already moved in from one of those previously mentioned groups will move in. Um, and you can see that on there, it's sorted by last name. So if your student's last name begins with an A through C, they will be assigned a move-in time from 8.30 until 9. Um, and then that again is all communicated to their tabor.edu email. So I cannot emphasize it enough. Please make sure they have access and they're checking that. If they don't have access to it for some reason, feel free to contact us, Student Life, um, or just call Tabor and we'll get you connected because there's a lot of important information that gets sent there that'll set your student up for success the sooner that they get access to it. So that's what happens on Friday. Um, and then the, the final move-in group happens on August 14th, which is basically just for transfers and returning students. And then the grouping kind of is similar. So again, all that information gets sent to the student email, Make sure they check that um, and then if there are any specific questions about that feel free to reach out to student life um, as we're overseeing the housing process and then this final document that frank is showing shows you where you're supposed to go when you get to hillsborough kansas um, so we start check-in everyone has to go through this um, kind of section which is right at we call it the circle drive it's right outside of the really beautiful um, sherry fleming center for the arts so it's kind of we call it the circle drive because it really is a circle drive it's pavement that makes a circle. <laughs> so right there, you can see it indicated by the arrow. Also, if you scan this QR code, you can map directly to the pinpoint that takes you to this spot. So when you show up, you can stay in your vehicle. It might be warm. It might be rainy. We don't know. It's Kansas in August, so we'll just kind of see what happens. But if you go to that QR code and just map it, it'll take you directly to where you need to be. Um, and so that's where we'll kind of start the process, make sure every document is in, in place that we need to be able to get the students keys and move in. So let us know if you have any questions related to that, but we cannot wait to, to see you all on campus very soon. Thanks Celeste. And one thing that was on the document that has the agenda, I want to um, I want to get you some, some sort of expedited service. So I'm offering one of my own accounts. Uh, you can always contact student, uh, student life at tabor.edu always. But if you want to have a, a, a bit more expedited service, write academic dean at tabor.edu. I'm going to be helping monitor that very closely for the next couple of days. We've had a couple of fumbles of, over the last couple of weeks, and I apologize that. 
for that. And, and that stops today. And we're going to get you the service that uh, you, you need and you deserve. Again, on behalf of my office, I oversee all of academics, student life, and the arts here at Tabor. Uh, this, is, this is what we give our life to. This is our service. And it, it wouldn't happen if you didn't send us your students. And with that, I'm going to ask Daniel to uh, offer a, a word of blessing. I'd be happy to. I'd like to close with that familiar blessing from number 6, 24 to 26. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. We look forward to seeing you all. Amen. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next week or, or when you come. <laughs>